everybody, this is Juliana and I just have a really quick project to share with you today. So as you guys saw in the pictures, I decided to create a pillow using a Marie Antoinette image. I really love how it turned out. Let me tell you guys, this is a big challenge for me because I can't sew. I mean, it's really hard for me to sew. The only thing I can sew is like flowers or really simple, easy, handmade, you know, hand stitches. But, um... I don't even have a sewing machine. So um, what I did is I used this fabric, this very nice pink soft fabric that I got at one of my thrift stores. And believe it or not, you guys, I glued the material together, like on the edges. I glued it together uh, with hot glue. And then I added some trim and some very pretty lace. Um, so you guys don't have to know how to sew to make a pillow. I mean, you can just do it fine with hot glue um, just like I did and uh, so here I just kind of double layer it with this gorgeous gorgeous lace I added some vintage lace that I also found at one of my thrift stores and as you can see there's part still of the material from the back and then I put the image of Marie Antoinette so everything in this pillow you guys is fabric there's no paper at all um, and then here in the edges I just added some vintage lace. I also got this at the thrift store and also found this gorgeous pearl trim at the thrift store. So most of the trims here that you see in the materials is actually from my thrift store's, um, you know, huntings. <laughs> so um, I really, really like that. Now here below I have um, some of these satin flowers that I had made. I really, really love them, and Susie Crafter was my inspiration um, for me to create my own flowers um, using satin material. So thank you, thank you so much, Susie, and I'll put Susie's YouTube below so you can check her out, her beautiful projects. Um, but anyways, here is just a little piece of doily, also found it at the thrift store, and then those little flowers there. And then um, this is a little tiny prima flower. So I didn't make this one. It's a prima flower. And then you see the trim all the way here along the side of the edges of the pillow. And then over here on the top, I added some more of my satin light pink uh, roses, uh, flowers, I guess, that I really, really like. And then um, the piece of doily there too. So I just left it pretty simple. I didn't want to make put too much embellishments because it is a pillow and it's really really nice and soft um, so I hope that you guys like it it was quite a challenge for me but I really really like it when oh, I forgot to also mention that along the sides of the pillow here I added this gorgeous gorgeous trim that I also found at the thrift store or the flea market I can't remember but it's really nice and pretty um, looks very shabby slash Victorian. Really, really love it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and remember, you don't need to you know how to sew to make a pillow. So uh, give it a try, you guys. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye-bye.